This place is not what I imagined. Starting a business here is going to be a challenge. Alright, now as of late, I've been really getting into the simulators more often. Um, not sure if this is going to be the saloon. I think this might be the train station. I would think that might be the saloon over there, personally. Uh, but let's see. Or, oh, it says saloon down there. But let's take a look over here. But as I was saying, I have been getting into simulators more. Um, I've been doing Car Mechanic Simulator on the channel for some time now. And in a couple of weeks here, you're actually going to see that I have jumped on the craze as of late of the Supermarket Simulator. I will be having that coming out on the channel. And I have recorded several videos for it already. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Alright, I have a chair. Why do I have a chair? Alright, well, let's just put that Hello? there for right now. Is anybody here? We all need a chair for right now. Doesn't look like we can get in there. Well, I stand corrected. We were able to get in there. So you just sort of walk into the doors to walk through them. Interesting. Something to keep in mind, definitely. Uh, we got some missing posters, some wanted posters. A little bit of everything. Nothing over here of value, it seems like, though. I guess we should do what they said and go on over to the saloon. Ooh, what is this white box over here? Doesn't seem like there's anything I can touch here. Alright, well, let's head to the saloon then. But yeah, as I was saying, I am getting more into the simulators. I definitely want a couple of simulator games on my channel pretty much all the time. So, this was one that I had seen and sort of put on my radar because it looked like it could be a good time. It mixes some of the Wild West aspects, like shootouts, things of that nature, but also some of the other simulator things I like, like cooking and uh, use some muscle and make my way inside. And uh, making drinks and such. So should be a good collection. It should be a lot of fun. Alright. Do I own this, or did I just decide that I'm going to break in and take over because it's closed? These are questions I have. Alright, we got into the saloon, and that was... Using trash bin. Use the bu The bucket is now in your possession. Check in your radial menu, hold tab. We have a trash bucket in your possession. You can collect garbage found in the saloon out of the premises. You can make a trash bag whenever you want. Just press rouse, right mouse button. All right. Damn, what a flea pit. I was expecting the saloon to be abandoned, not devastated. All right. So let's start making things a little bit nicer in here. We've got our... Uh, we don't have a bucket, actually, as of right now. All right, can't put it, can put it there. Perfect. We got a spittoon there. Don't really feel like emptying that right now. Really, I don't think this is that bad of a place overall yet. Needs some work, definitely, but not the worst thing I've ever seen. As I said, I don't know if I paid money for this or if it just, uh, I just invaded, or <laughs> what the deal is here exactly. Alright, I really could use that bucket that they were talking about. Find bucket. Ah, there we go. Now we All got right. the bucket. Let's start with the trash. Alright. Let's get this stuff off the bar for one. Does this just hold unlimited? Oh no, it is filling up. All right. So we will have to make a bag out of it at a point here. All 
Alright. Guessing I can fit these last three bottles in. Better find a place to dispose of this right away. Whoop. No, I don't want that. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch back to hands. Alright. Now, normally I would think... Locked. If I can't find the key, I'll have to force it open. Alright. Normally I would think a dumpster is going to be in the back. Looks like we got a second room over there. Alright. There must be a dump around here somewhere. All right, this looks like barn and maybe a iron worker shop. That's definitely a barn. Gonna run a little bit here. Doesn't look like I have stamina, so that looks good. All right, garbage dump. The presence of a garbage in the saloon discourages guys, negatively affecting their reactions. Number of visitors and your tips. Collect single pieces of garbage or whole bags of them and take them to the garbage dump for disposal. Garbage is an important currency in Blueberry. You'll learn about it later. Alright. So, this is the garbage dump. Done. Does anyone even visit this town? Hey, Blueberry folks, I'm heading out for a while. Feels like my search for Dulcania might take a little longer this time. Don't expect me back anytime soon. More like early April. With my usual stash of extraordinary finds. In the meantime, pile up the trash as high as you like. I'll take care of it when I get back. Until then, I hope all is well in your peculiar little town. Catch you in April, Charlie. Alright, so. 1st of April is tomorrow. Might be worth a look. Assuming, of course, that Charlie has left this note this year. That's fair point. All right, got a broom. All right, so we can dust cobwebs in the floors. This will come in handy. Okay, so it's bigger back there still. We've got an upstairs section here. Alright, we've got doors. What is this? I don't know what that is. Don't think I want to put it in the trash yet, though. My shadow's glitching out a little bit. Bit unfortunate there. But this is a prologue, as I said, sort of a demo. So, game is definitely not completed yet. This demo just came out today. So, I'm sure that there will definitely be some changes made before the game is brought Let's see if there's a floor out. under this dirt. Alright, so tab... Get that broom. That is not how you use a broom. But alright then. Hey, we got some change there. We made some money. Something seemed to be flying at me there. Alright, so we got all that cleaned up. Alright, Blueberry is not as abandoned as it seems. Engage in conversation with guests and town folk by pressing left mouse button. It's an opportunity to get to know Blueberry locals and passing travelers. When you stand behind a counter, you interact with the customers to start preparing orders. Alright, as you encounter more significant characters, information about them will be recorded in your journal. Gotcha. Alright, we can go ahead and put that broom away so we don't look silly. Well, well, you've done a fine job setting up, Butterfingers. 
I must say, the rat droppings on the threshold caught my eye. Did you come up with this decor yourself? It's my business what happens to this place. We both know that ain't true. Have you forgotten the agreement you made with Mr. Locke? Do you know this man? I know he'll be mighty disappointed if we don't handle a sensitive matter right now. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you only what you gotta know, Butterfingers. They call me W, and as long as you run the saloon, we're tied together like tumbleweeds in a dust storm, whether you like it or not. The name's Cheyenne, and I don't think I need to listen to you. I know your name, and Mr. Locke knows what's going on here. Quit wasting our time and follow me. But how do... Can I just, uh, shoot him? Seems like shooting him would be a good idea. Yeah, I'm busy with stuff. I wanted to look in this room. There's not much in the room right now, but I wanted to look in there anyways. This is a big place I got here. I wonder what kind of deal I got for this place. And are these boards good for other things later, or I'm just leaving them on the floor? I don't know. Got the keys to the whole dang saloon, do you? Get in. Jesus. That's... That's a fresh corpse? Fresh? They've been lying here for a few hours. Come on, there's nothing to see. Help me clean it up. No fucking way, W. This is murder. If we get rid of the body, it'll be merely a mysterious disappearance. Besides, the town doesn't have a sheriff yet. What is this man even doing here? He is lying dead. Stop asking stupid questions and get to work. I saw a rag here somewhere. You know what to do. I don't think this is a rag type of situation. Uh, this... Older gentleman here has been killed. Yep, he is officially dead. And I see some coins. So you have to excuse me, I'm busy collecting stuff. Can I take this axe and deal with W? Oh, I don't need that. It's cool though that I got lights. This money here? That could be good. Thought you'd pe be peacefully serving drinks to wealthy oilmen? Not so fast. The rag you acquire will come in handy for wiping away blood stains. Be it after a bar fight or interrogation led by W in his private quarter. You can also use it like to wipe drink stains from the bar counter. All what right. I get myself into. Well, I guess I should crouch down for this. After you clean up the blood, take the body to Casey. She's the local mortician. Another one of Locke's associates? I wouldn't call her that. At least not to her face. She just does what she can to stay alive. Like we all do. All right. After picking up the body, you can bring it to the mortician and place it inside a coffin. Casey offers a solution to dispose of inconvenient evidence and will compensate you with a fair payment for each body. Hey, so I get paid for bodies? That's great. I do say I wish his mouth would move. I know that they said in the opening of the game that uh, they would like sort of feedback on the game and stuff. That's one of those things to me that I would appreciate would be for the... Uh, the mouth to move with the characters and stuff. I'll be waiting for you at the bar. Oh, great. It is all kinds of joy to be around, aren't you? But yeah, just having the mouths move, I mean, the game's got a decent amount of nice detail to it, so not having the mouths move is a little bit unfortunate. Surprise. You're one of them after all. One of whom? What are you talking about? I'm just here to run the saloon. And you ended up carting around dead bodies? Do you know who he was? No idea. 
He poured drinks before you. Wait, you're kidding me, right? I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Welcome to Blueberry, I'm Casey O'Hara. How shall I inscribe your grave? They call me Cheyenne. Can you tell me how not to end up like this? Do what W tells you. Don't ask questions and don't look for answers. Can I buy a pre-need plan or? Just stick a $5 bill in your boot and don't worry about it. I'll make sure you get a proper send off. Thanks. That's surprisingly comforting. At your service. Okay. Um And he vanished while we were talking. That's that that's disturbing. All right. Doctor's office. Have a feeling that might be needed at a point in time. Okay. Uh So we're working for the western version of the mob it seems like. Alrighty then. We got some nice bullet holes around the door I noticed as well. So I get to actually serve a drink in this prologue or uh Done. Let's wait for the final act with applause. I'll fill you in on your second job when the time comes. Second job? Relax, Cheyenne. You'll hear a whistle and see me at the window on the balcony. That's the signal for you to head to the barn. Understood? And you will scratch me behind my ear after a good done job? I'm not a dog, but I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? You don't. Huh, you're a smart ass, you know. There's a chance you'll live a little longer. Longer than the previous owner? Huh? Hmm. So Casey spilled the beans, huh? He made some bad choices, but I thought, no, enough of that. Get to work. Show me what you can do. Give me a good old stone fence, now. Are you talking about a drink, or do you need a stable? Drink. So, how'll it be, partner? All right. When you stand behind a counter, you start preparing orders. Some characters have their favorite drinks. Give them one of them and watch the result. You may gain their appreciation and even receive a special gift. It's also possible to distract someone and avoid trouble by offering them their favorite drink. You can check this information in a journal, press short, uh, short press tab and select journal, then select character tab. Alright. Character. Alright, so we know he likes the stone fence. I have no idea how to make a stone fence. Alright. For one, I'm going to close this door over here if I can. Hey, there we go. That would have been bothering me. Hey, more money. I'm just rich now. Alright, wow, look at this place back here. Very nice. Uh, not sure this stuff. Pumpkin storage. Yeah, interesting. Carrot storage. Potato storage. Bean storage. Wow, so we're gonna do a lot of cooking, actually. We got a lot of different ingredients here. Uh, biscuit and gravy. <laughs> Alright. Fried offal. Alright, so that's the book of uh, how to make food. Sugar store. So we're going to need to order some stuff. Sort of want to keep $5 though, so that way if I end up dead, I can go ahead and uh, be buried properly. Alright, so we got ice bucket. Lemon slices. Mint leaves. More money. Very nice. Alright, whiskey straight. Whiskey on the rock. Shot of whiskey. Stone fence. Use a bar glass. Pour two ounces of whiskey, one ounce of cider. Put ice cubes. Stir with spoon. Alright. So there's my journal, evidently. 
All right, so this is... That's the bar of glass storage. That's shot glass. All right, so we got a bar of glass. I can put that there. This is a cider over here. So I'm gonna need that. That's the whiskey. I guess this is where I mix things, is it put the glass back onto the shelf when I add it over there. All right. I don't wanna throw it. How do I pour it? Do I put it in front of him? No, that didn't work either. Alright, I am very confused as these glasses keep disappearing on me. This is the bar glass. That is what I'm trying to do. This glass disappearing on me is killing me. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. That's water. Alright, I broke the whiskey. I don't get what's going on though. <laughs> For one, I don't even have a spoon. I don't know who those two people are. This doesn't seem like the most appropriate time to worry about it either. Where's a spoon? <laughs> What in the world's back here? Alright, that door's closed. Ice box. First things first, where can I put this glass so that it actually stays for me? I don't see a pouring feature. I can place it on surface. The glass disappears. There, have that. Now it's saying make a drink. All right. So I had to go over to him first. That would've been helpful to know. All right. Barman assist panel. From here you can serve your guests with any kind of drink they can imagine. Now it's time to check how it works. All right, so it tells me all this information. I went about it the whole wrong way. Hopefully I get some whiskey back because I broke that bottle of it. Uh, in the game, if anything goes wrong, you can restart the whole process. Just remember, use ingredients will get go to waste. Alright. So we're going to select the bar glass. There we go. Next step. Hey, we got the whiskey back. Okay, so we're pouring here. Perfect. I'm more concerned looking at the uh, side of the screen than I am about the other stuff. Alright, so we got that. 
We don't need ice. We don't need water. So we need ice cubes. And then we got our spoon. All right. That's what I fucking needed. If I'm going to make more of these, I'm going to need supplies. Don't worry about that. I know a supplier goes by the name of Jack. I've already let him know that he should start coming to Blueberry again. He will be here soon. Appreciated. No problem, partner. I sure hope no one else has to make stone fences for me. Yeah. Pleasure to meet the new owner of the once famous Blueberry Saloon. Yeah, so like some of the dialogue on the written part is not the same as what's being said. I do hope they clean that up some in the final game. And the animation for the drinking there was a little bit awkward as well. Alright, the saloon can be either open or closed by using the information board located in front of the main entrance. Press the close so it may be necessary at times to fulfill tasks with specified time frame or restore your supplies. Alright, did I break the whiskey? I think I broke the whiskey. So I may only have just a uh, cider for right now. And would you close this dang door? I feel like we live in a barn here, I swear. Probably has this door up here still open too. You know, I'm gonna pull these boards off as well. No, I'm not. I lied. Evidently, I can't pull those boards off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go down there and open that up in a second. Oh, we got more trash up here. This is a respectable joint. Let's get that trash out of here. Get some more cash while we're at it. I do wish they'd picked a different button than the tab button for that, since it already is the, uh... the way you get to the wheel to select the different items for yourself. But alright, let's go ahead and open this and see how bad this gets. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Alright. I'm gonna stand behind the bar and wait for customers. Oh, we got trash here. Welcome to the Blueberry Saloon. Alright, we got a customer in there, but I need to throw this. Good day. Alright, sounds like we might have two customers in there. Let's hurry on back. Close the door. There we go. Alright. Oh, we're getting customers in. Alright. What would you like? Whiskey on the rocks. Alright. Use a bar glass. There we go. Out of stock. Alright, we gotta escape that one. Whiskey on the rocks. Whiskey on the rocks. Alright, so I really needed to have not broken that bottle. Yeah, that bottle is still broken. So I'm pretty well SOL here. I'm going to have to restart. Alright, so we're back to the drink making area here. I ran through the prologue again to not break the bottle this time. So let's go ahead and do this the proper way. We're supposed to click on him. We'll get the explanations. And then we go ahead and get the bar glass here. Put it down. Go on to the next one here, get this, 
we're gonna pour in two ounces of whiskey let's get that flowing pretty well there whoop it's a little strong hopefully you won't mind it good enough skip that step put some ice in there there we go stir that bad boy up and we're close let's see what he thinks that's what I fucking needed if I'm going to make more of these I'm going to need supplies don't worry about that I know a supplier goes by the name of Jack I've already let him know that he should start coming to Blueberry again. He will be here soon. Appreciated. No problem, partner. I sure hope no one else has to make stone fences for me. Yeah. Pleasure to meet the new owner of the once famous Blueberry Saloon. Shut the door after he leaves. Then we'll go open for business and see how we're doing here. There's a cobweb. I should be able to use the broom to deal with that, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Is there any other cobwebs? Oh yeah, here's another one over here. I mean, this place is run down, but might as well have it looking somewhat nice. No harm in that. All right, go ahead and get back to the hand here. Here goes nothing. Put that up. And then let's go ahead and enter behind the bar. Close these two sides down and wait for some customers. Welcome to the Blueberry Saloon. Good day. All right, he wants a stone fence as well. So let's go ahead and give him one. We know what we're doing this time. Ah, I keep pouring just a little bit too much of the whiskey. And what I realize is I can just let go of the button and I'll stop. So that's what I need to be doing. Alright, let's put that in. Mix it all up there. There we go. There's your drink. Shot of whiskey. Alright. Shot glass. This drink is so damn good it could bring a smile to a grizzly bear. Alright. Pouring two ounces of whiskey. Hopefully no one needs to go to the bathroom because otherwise uh this game could be Damn, bad for you. Liquor is running out. Where's this trader? He wants a stone fence as well. This drink is finer than a cool breeze. Hopefully I have enough for him. There we go. All right, now I'm getting the hang of it. There you are, sir. Sounds like a traveling cart. It's better be the trader. This drink is like a wild ride through flavor country. All right. Upright citizen wants to buy something. Wants a shot of whiskey. All right. Let's go ahead and make him a shot of whiskey first, I guess.
There we go. Do I have to go outside for the uh, supplier's cart? Yeah, it looks like I do. Alright. There we are. Let's go ahead and uh, close the place down if we can. Can't close it down evidently. Alright. Saloon needs supplies. Jack will be at your service from dawn to sunset. Interact with him and select the appropriate goods from his store. So Sartman will restock every day. Me scusi, you must be Cheyenne. In the flesh. And you must be Jack, the supplier. Supplier? Mio amici. I'm your compagno on this nasty sea of sand. Giacomo Allegretti. But the locals call me Jack. All right, Giacomo Jack. I'm Cheyenne. And I'm going to need your help. I can smell a good deal from a mile away. And I smell it here. We'll make a deal, Cheyenne. Just tell me what you need. Can you get me some alcohol and supplies? I need to get this business rolling. Stai calmo, amico. Just show me the dollars and I'll deliver what's needed. Alright, so I definitely want a whiskey. You know what, let's go ahead and fill up on those. Uh, might as well. I've got the money for it. I'm only gonna fill up to there on the lemons. Ooh, all right, let's get some of this as well. All right, we've got some of these things. Let's get two of the sugar. All right, so that'll be it for the order for right now, I think. Yeah, let's confirm that order. Echo. Thanks. Will you come in for a drink? I'd love to, but not now. I have to take care of the cart. Then see you around. See you. Alright, his voice just changed, so that might be another issue they need to address in the game. Because he did not sound very Italian there at the end. <laughs> Pick up a crate from the back of Jack's cart, then walk in with it to place the mark on the bar and a Pack the goods. Alright. So I've got my crate. Got those. Let's get the lemon slices in there. And let's get the sugar over the here. The bar is open again. Damn, I might just cry. Hello, barkeep. Come closer, young lad. Oh, we got people at a table this time. All right. What can I treat you to? Howdy. Name Samuel. Welcome to the land where dreams ain't just dreams. Is that what you say? They call me Cheyenne. And for me, the town looks deserted. Just looks, my friend. Just looks. Blueberry's got its secrets, I can tell. You're sharp. You must sense it, too. Can't say I do. What's your trade, Sam? The only real job there is, with all due respect. I'm a gold prospector, and I own the local open pit mine gold in blueberry come by my house and give me a hand with the mining got a special contraption just needs a little bit of fixing we split what we find equally and fairly you'll get a solid 20 percent what do you think doesn't sound entirely fair we can work out the details later don't let it bother you now listen could you make me something to eat i'm starving i think so one thing, though. Yes? Till my contraptions churn in, can't pay in cash. What can you offer, then? If you make a meal just the way I like it, 
I'll have a special gift for you in the future. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Okay. Worth a shot. Alright, I'm game for that. Grab the pot from the wall and place it on the stove to start cooking it. It's important to make dishes according to the recipe in the cookbook, otherwise you will get a slush. Alright, first of all, I'm going to deal with this cobweb over here. I had removed these before, but I think that was in my first playthrough before I broke the bottle of uh, alcohol, so need to remove them again. Don't want a dirty business here. There we go. This room sure needs a renovation. Alright, we got a pot. We'll put her on the stove. Want to cook something for your guests, you'll need to get the appropriate recipe for your dish first. Alright. Alright, so we're going to do this one. Alright, add two pieces of organ meat. Alright, that's one piece. Add butter. Add heart tack. Next step. It's not need any spices. All right, no spices in this one. We'll finish cooking. All right, the meal is almost ready. Now you need to apply heat to your dish. Maximize flame by clicking the space bar while the cursor is over the green flame tile. Be careful, clicking the space over the red flame will hinder your heat and can even spoil your dish. There are special tiles that can make your dish better in many ways. You can discover them in the cookbook. Special effect, peacefulness. All right, so we made a meal. Interesting. I'm assuming this is the meal he wanted since uh, it didn't really tell us one way or the other. This does not look like biscuits and gravy. Oh, place it on the serving table. All right. <laughs> Grab a plate and fill it with the finished dish. All right. Thanks, you won't regret this. All right, so we're gonna make some more drinks here. That's fine by me. He can eat that meal. Cooking was a bit unique. Sort of like the drink making a bit better. Another stone fence. Everybody wants the stone fences. Alright. We'll pour some of this alcohol in here. There we go. There we are. You're good to go. Whiskey on the rocks. All right. Bar glass. Three ounces of whiskey. This drink is liquid gold. See if we can pour it this fast. Whoop. Did that go a little bit early? Trying to get a little too cute there, I see. All right. Put in an ice cube, finished drink. Alright. And you want whiskey straight. Use a bar glass. This drink is finer than a cool breeze. 
So let's go ahead and start it out nice and fast. Then we'll tame it down a little bit here as we get closer. And I still let go just a little bit too early. There you go. Occasionally your customers will pick fights with each other. This depends on the moon of saloon, sometimes on the degree of drunkenness, and sometimes on simple accident. First assess which of the commandants is the aggressor and which is the attack. Grab any object and throw it at the aggressor. By doing so, you will stop him from causing further damage. This right. drink is finer than a cool breeze. Well, we got this guy over here. What Just the? Such an old hey, stop it. I bet you can't even run no more. Take it outside. Oh, yeah. Hey, enough. Watch End this now. Run up and kick your ass. <laughs> Thanks, but no punches for me. Good luck. All right. So is he dead from one punch? Unconscious. Can't leave him here like this. Hope someone in town can help. Good day. The fuck is that? <laughs> hey, you. Do you know a doctor? Well, of course I know him. He's me. Oh, great. Will he survive? What happened to him? Got hit in the head. He looks fine to me, but... The fact he is unconscious can be worrying. Damn. So what do we do now? Is he... your friend? Will you take care of him? Nah, just served him a drink. Hmm... Alright. Then pick him up and follow me. I'm gonna go collect my money first. Sort of upset that my business got closed down for the day by uh, this guy fighting with the other guy. Can I just put him into a coffin? I mean, it seems like that works. Also, I do wonder if the F word was really used in this time period. Um, would be something I'd have to look up, but it also might be something that the game producer might want to look up. Because it just seems unnatural to me that the F word is being used the way it is here. If you find someone injured, bring them to me. I'll patch them up and get them back on their feet. I can't pay you, but the town will be grateful. And so will the people we save. I'll do my best, Doc. See you around, Cheyenne. Once you locate an injured person, you pick them up. Bring them to the doctor and place them in a specifically prepared area by pressing that button. Doctor will restore the injured person's health and the word reputation points. Additionally, interacting with the residents of Blueberry may lead you to undercover their personal stories. Who knows, you might become intertwined in their lives. I guess. Might as well shop for some stuff. Let's go ahead and order all that. Thank you. Have my food on stock here, so that way, hopefully, hope peaceful for the rest of today. I'll get some more guests to serve. All right, that did the heart attack there. the other stuff good store there's the butter all right and here's the meat evidently all right yeah good enough I can just sit on the floor there 
All right. So you want just a whiskey. We'll get you handled here. Let's get this pouring nice and fast. There we go. All right, you want a salty meal. This drink is so damn good, it could bring a smile to a grizzly bear. This should take care of it for you. Honestly, it needs a touch of garnish. Don't know if that counts as a salty meal, but it's the meal I made him, so he'll live. All right, shot of whiskey. Even gave you a little extra there. All right, shot of whiskey for you too. Did that guy just break the plate over there or something? Alright, whiskey straight. What does this madman come up with this time? Alright. Let me go ahead and uh, pour this guy's drink. Because I care about making money here. That is what I'm here for. Downright legendary. Alright, I gotta meet that guy at the barn. Can I close the shop up? Doesn't seem that I can. Alright, so we're just gonna leave it open and run over to the barn. Hopefully I don't have any more customers while I'm over here. Suddenly wasn't able to run there, even though I don't seem to have a stamina bar, which is sort of interesting. What'd you want? How's business going, Cheyenne? I heard from Jack that supplies are flowing. Can't complain. But what's on your mind this time? Same as always. I want to help you with your business. See that wagon over there? And the dead body. Do I even want to know? Trust me, you do. Here's a crowbar. Time to get to work. I use this barn to dismantle stolen carts. You can make a good profit from it. Just be careful and clean up any traces thoroughly. That's where you come in. How exactly? It's simple. I'll keep watch while you dismantle the wagon and hide the parts in the hay. If you happen to come across a chest, try to open it. If there's a body on, we've got that covered too. Ah, uh, Casey and her irreplaceable services. Exactly. All right. I must hide it as soon as possible. So I can pick up the piece. Fine. Now the rest. I must hide it as soon as possible. Alright. Let's just throw it from over here. There we go. Oh, we got these over here too. Perfect. Some unique sounds for it. Good. Now the chest. Where did this come from? 
Time to get prize. Cordo, remember that showboat, Hank Custer? The one who bragged that he favored old fashioned with peach and lemon peel and boasting about making outlaws tremble from Georgia to New Mexico? Bloody jackass. Hope they'd assign him to patrol the wilderness, but no such luck. He's heading to Blueberry. Keep a tight leash on him. Make sure he knows the ropes and doesn't screw things up. We can't afford another blunder. Best, Sergeant Samuel Thompson. W. We have a problem. According to this letter, the sheriff is on his way to town. It seems that this guy here was sent to assess the situation. Well, he won't be assessing anything now. We need to act fast and take care of the body. Time is not on our side. This will make our job much harder, Cheyenne. Oh, that was a nice amount of money. Alright, let's get rid Damn. of the body. Playing the outlaw seems easier when you're not dodging the sheriff's gaze. Just gotta hope he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. I don't see anyone. Oh, I do. Oh, that's Jack. Yeah, Jack's cool. Yeah, this one's not for you, Another dog. One? I haven't finished with the previous one yet. Sorry, not my problem. Oh, we got a train there. That's cool. I guess I had to talk to him inside my uh, bar here. But I do love the fact that I made over $100 just on that one there. I'm willing to disassemble the cart even though I thought that was sort of stupid. If that's the kind of money that I'm going to be making. I mean... I can't complain about that at all. So, Barkeep, are you the reason I ended up in this here hole? That's I don't think so. Said. I'm just trying to run my business. I don't get in anyone's way. Well, what's your name anyway? Cheyenne. Listen, Cheyenne, my name is Hank Custer and I am the new sheriff in town. They sent me here because rumors reached the authorities that the town is starting to thrive. And whose fault is that? You mean to say it's credit, right, Hank? For you, it's Sheriff Custer. Let me tell you this, this damn place needs a firm hand, and mine is as firm as they come. The sooner the town is seen as peaceful, the quicker I can get a promotion. I won't interfere with the Sheriff's work. You have my word. And damn fucking well, Cheyenne. Think of me as the leader of the Wolf Pack. As long as you obey, you can feel safe. Now show me what kind of drinks one can pull off here. Surprise me. All right. <laughs> so, actions will be monitored. Don't get in trouble. When Sheriff visits the saloon, you can distract him from his duties. Simply serve him the appropriate drinks to lower watchfulness level. Sheriff star in the upper left corner. All right. Exercise caution when dismantling the cart, as excessive noise can raise the sheriff's watchfulness level. Sheriff star in the upper left corner, potentially exposing your actions. Sheriff catches you transporting a corpse, there will be consequences. You will be punished. Stay vigilant and avoid getting caught in such situations. All right. Well, Bitters, I only fresh peach in this one-horse town. How am I supposed to find those around here? Alright. Yeah, let's stop making the drink. Hey, do you have these things by chance? Yeah, I'm sort of screwed without them. 
Yeah, alright. Well, I guess I gotta make him what I can. Don't know how this is gonna work, but I guess we'll see. Alright, we're gonna use a bar of glass for two ounces of whiskey. Alright. I have sugar syrup. Wants to order an old fashioned. Yeah, I think this means I don't have that stuff. Uh, so let's put in the things I do have. Uh, now let's try the recipe. We don't have bitters. Uh, we're gonna put in some ice cubes. And we put in a lemon slice. Sure. Did you know I could throw you in jail for what you served me? Disgusting. <laughs> I'm just starting out, Sheriff Custer. Next time, the drink will be perfect. Let's hope so. If I see you causing any problems, we'll quickly fall out of favor. And do you know what wolves do to those who get in their way? I assure you, Sheriff, you won't have any issues with me. Very fucking well. Now it's time for me to leave. Don't stir up trouble, Cheyenne. Yeah, as I said, the... F word in here, just a bit too oh, liberal. One more thing. Could you check on that poor fellow who came with me? He might need some help, and I'm beat from the journey. Yeah, the F word in here just seems unrealistic. So I think they need to check on that. I mean, sure, I get it sort of cool that you're using the F word. But I don't think it would have been used at this time period, and if it was, it wouldn't be used nearly this amount. Oh, this is interesting. Good day. Cheyenne, the new bartender. Nice to meet you. I'm Earl. I can help you with those crates. No. I can handle it. It's no trouble. Let me... I can't pay you. Go away. I... I don't want money, it's just a friendly gesture. Hmm. That's new. Listen, these crates are really heavy. That's not a problem. Alright, just don't drop them and don't expect a discount. Huh. Ah. Told you. Put it here. Oh, all right. It wants me to put it over here instead of where he put his. Bit odd, but all right. Are you gonna pick up another one, or am I just doing so? Oh. You decided to come back to Blueberry. The big city business didn't work out. The boss values peace and the lack of competition. What's his name? Her. Addie McKay. So, Earl and Addie. For you, it's Miss McKay. Sorry. When is she coming? Soon. Okay. Don't understand exactly what's going on here. Like... How did I know he was from the big city? There's one left. Could you go get it? I'll start unpacking. Sure. Damn. 
I need to pick this up. What's this? Remember to tell Adia, place her order with Robert Johnson, not that idiot Albert. Okay. Little glitchy here. I think I'm crouching right now and I can't help it. Alright, well hopefully when we get it over here and I put it where it's supposed to go, then I will stop crouching. Because this makes me go even slower than I need to be. Alright, that's it. When can I buy furniture from you? We'll start production when the boss arrives, but there are still a few unsold pieces in the basement. I'll get rid of it for the price of firewood. Can I see? Sure. Okay, so we've got some nice furniture here. Ooh, I like these easy sofas and easy armchairs. I mean, I've got the money for them. So let's get the 15 of them. Let's get 15 of these. Tables. I uh, sort of like the barrel tables. Nothing for that area, nothing for that area. A hanger. Let's get that too. I definitely like that. Yeah, let's make it look much nicer than it was. Let's go with the tied curtains. And sure, let's get a couple of bear rugs, I guess. It's the only ones we can get. Probably the only ones we'll be able to get in the... Uh, Let's get those. All right, let's put in this order. That's a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, buy three new tables from Earl. Alright, that's the one thing I didn't buy. But sure, we'll buy three new tables. It's most of the money I had. Close the saloon. One more thing. Take this. For the help. I told you. Take it. I don't like unpaid debts. Okay. If you insist. Thanks. A good work deserves payment. He did say that there was stuff in the basement. Um, what basement? As it, some of the wording and stuff definitely needs some work. But you know what? Overall, really pretty pleased with the game so far. Alright, you can customize your saloon only when it's closed. Pick up the design tool, designated tool from the circular menu, interact with the highlighted objects. Furniture can be stored in your inventory, replace or customize smaller furniture by interacting with them. You can hide old furniture by holding F and pressing the appropriate button. Let's do a little rearranging here. All right. Yeah, let's definitely put down the it new floor. It already looks better. 
Oh yeah, I'm very pleased with the way this is looking. May I? Uh, you can, but I'm a little bit busy right now. Alright. Don't have anything there for that. Yeah, let's put out this new chit table. Uh... We're gonna put one of our bear rugs down there. Alright, so... Uh, let's see, what did I tint these? Oh, that looks a little bit better. Alright. More bear rugs. So where I could put the comfy chairs... Ah, here we can put one of them out. Alright, that looks nicer, definitely. And we'll definitely put one there, too. I wonder... Uh, let's see here. Can I break apart this garbage? I can. All right, Casey, I'll be there uh, in a while. <laughs> I'm a little busy right now. All right, so now let me get this. need the floors done up here, definitely. wonder if I can buy more floors from him when I have enough money. Does that mean I can bust these rooms open, too? I bet I can, but for now, we're not going to worry about busting those rooms open. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and keep on decorating up here. Put out our bear rugs. Alright, we don't have anything for that. There, coat rack. There, one of these nice chairs. There, a nice chair there. Oh, this is awesome. Definitely appreciating the way this is looking. Can't do anything in here, that's alright. I could probably put some stuff out here as well. All that stuff can be broken up, but you know what? I'm not here to do all that right now. I just wanted to get the main part of the area looking nice. And we got all those rooms, which is cool too, but you know what? Saying available in the uh, full game version, that's fine. We'll put some nice furniture out here. This place is looking a lot more reputable. I'm happy with the way this... Oh, could put an air bear rug out. Gotta put a bear rug where we can. And all these bears died to be able to put them out here. So, 
Definitely want to put them out. Alright, let me get this stuff busted up. Now, this should not attract the sheriff because. This is just busting up stuff in my own, uh. facility here. We got the trash over there. Alright. Alright, can't get those things. You know what? We got most of it. Let's go ahead and pitch this over into the uh, pit over here. No other buggies to disassemble. It doesn't look like it. Alright. So we're doing good there. I haven't forgotten about you, Casey. I will be with you shortly. Yeah, I mean... If this was the full game, I'd be breaking all that stuff apart. That way I could set out some nice stuff. Yeah, I got nothing as far as a table for that. Just look how much nicer that looks. Alright. And these cobwebs keep coming back. Don't know about this place, Casey. There's a lot of cobwebs all over the place. But I do love my new doors and stuff I put on here. This place is looking fancy. Let me tell you. Alright. What is it you would like to drink there? Shut this so I look all professional. Oh, you just want a straight whiskey. All right. You want it nice and strong. Gotcha. I appreciate the bottle dispo the uh, body disposal you did for us there. So I'll make you one there. A little bit extra on the house because you were such a good helper Thanks. there. Your half for the first corpse. Half. Yep. Half. Didn't W tell you? About what? Damn. Well, anyway. You will find out sooner than me what this key opens. Judging by where he hid it, it must open something valuable. Wait, hold on. You mean to say you'll pay me for bringing you bodies? If I find something on them. And if the body didn't belong to the sheriff or some other big shot. For such hot merch, I take everything for myself. Seems fair. Sounds fair. I think so too. One more thing. I won't be checking their pulse if you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, my guess is this key is going to open this door over here. What's this? Aha, I was right. Your office is a place that in the future will be used to store trophies and keep track of how well you're doing in running the saloon. Right now you can use it to rest and move the plot of the story forward. Okay, we got a safe over there. That's great. Dear Simon, all is well with the children. Mom is very sick. She won't live long. You promised her you wouldn't drink. We are worried, very worried about you. My poor little brother, they beat you so badly. It's not your fault. You can't force people to come. I pray that Mr. Locke will see how hard you are trying and forgive you a little. I know you will come out of this like you always have. 
All my love, Elizabeth. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. His luck ran out. Yeah. It's been a long day. Should I go to bed or open the saloon for a bit more? Yeah, we're gonna go to bed. How does random trash just show up in the room? Good morning, Samuel. I thought I closed for the night. Morning, you did. But for locals, it's more of a suggestion than a rule. All right, well, it looks like there's still quite a bit to do in this. So I think I'm going to actually end my first video here. Uh, we'll probably actually take this up and continue this prologue, though, in the next video. So if you enjoyed what I did in the video, please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you again for more of the uh, Saloon Simulator prologue.